On Wednesday morning, the U.S. House of Representatives was thrown into chaos when Kevin McCarthy, the frontrunner to become the next Speaker of the House, unexpectedly lost the votes of his colleagues. This shocking turn of events sent shockwaves through the political world and left many wondering what will come next for the House of Representatives. In this video, we'll take a look at the events that lead up to McCarthy's loss and what this means for the future of the U.S. House. The start of the new Congress was supposed to be a victory lap for the Republican Party, but instead, it ended in chaos as the House of Representatives failed to choose a leader after a first-round vote, the first time since 1923. Kevin McCarthy faced a rebellion from within his ranks and lost three consecutive votes for Speaker. The House will keep voting until someone wins a majority, and it is unclear whether McCarthy will be able to win that majority or if his challengers will have enough support to deny him. Regardless of the outcome, the turmoil on the floor of the House foreshadows a tumultuous two years of moderate and right-wing Republicans at war with each other over issues like immigration and health care. When Republicans narrowly won control of the House in November, all eyes were on Republican leader Kevin McCarthy to see who would be elected Speaker. McCarthy faced an uphill battle with a divided caucus and had to engage in some difficult negotiations to try and win their votes. According to Republican lobbyists who requested anonymity, Kevin McCarthy has not made friends with certain segments of the caucus for a while. He's made a lot of enemies to try and sway them. McCarthy reportedly agreed to change the House rules to make it easier to oust a sitting speaker. However, these efforts appear to have backfired. The same Republican lobbyist said, the fact he was negotiating with the Republicans at all made him look very, very weak to the point of being desperate. It is clear that these negotiations have had a serious impact on McCarthy's standing in the party and will likely haunt him for some time. In three consecutive votes, Kevin McCarthy failed to reach the required 218-vote threshold to be elected Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives. A block of 19 hard-right Republicans had solidified in opposition to him, with Representative Rob Good, a Virginia Republican, declaring that they would never back down. Interestingly, it was his own supporter Representative Jim Jordan who nominated Mr. McCarthy for Speaker but then voted against him. Meanwhile, Democrats remained unified behind their party's new leader, Representative Hakeem Jeffries of New York, with Congressman Ruben Gallego of Arizona joking breaking the popcorn out. The opposition has been emboldened by their success in thwarting Mr. McCarthy's bid for the speakership. As political observers in Washington have predicted various outcomes to the current situation, ranging from the feasible to the entirely possible. One thing is certain. Kevin McCarthy has his work cut out for him. Aaron Cutler, a lobbyist who once worked for former Congressman Eric Cantor, said it best when he said, he's got to give the people who are against him something to hang their hat on. This sentiment was echoed by Representative Lauren Boebert of Colorado, who said, we haven't heard anything new from McCarthy. Mr. McCarthy has pledged not to make any more concessions but may not have a choice. He could try to win over obstinate lawmakers with plum committee assignments or new leadership roles, but it's unclear if this will be enough to break the stalemate. Members will reconvene for a fourth time on Wednesday, though it's unclear if the stalemate will break. Ruth Block Rubin, a political scientist at the University of Chicago,